Hi friends. Today we're going to read a book called Being Edie is Hard Today. I like the pictures in it. Being Edie is Hard Today. Written by Ben Brashers, illustrated by Elizabeth Bergland. Being Edie was hard today. She barely made it to breakfast. Please eat your toast, Edie, her mom said. I'm too tired to eat my toast, Edie replied. Please sit up, Edie, her mom said. I can't, Edie said. My head is too heavy. Pony or piggy? Her mom asked while they waited for the school bus. Piggy, please, mother, Edie answered. When the bus arrived, Edie reminded her mother that piggies don't go to school. This little piggy does, her mom said, and scooted Edie out the door. She had made a mistake. A pony would have been much better. Look, they're pulling on her piggy tails. While putting her things away, Edie thought for a moment about climbing into her cubby, maybe just hanging there like a bat until it was time to go home. In class, Miss Meanie called on Edie to write on the board, but Edie didn't know the answer. I can't, she said. Why can't you, Edie? I have polar bear hands, she said, and showed her. At recess, Edie sat in her favorite spot and ate her favorite snack, sardines. Only squids eat sardines, one boy said. Edie the Stinky Squid, they sang. Edie the Stinky Squid. And they circled her like sharks. Oh, to be a squid. Alone, she sat on the swing where she'd go to think and imagine she had great wings that could take her high above, but the wings never worked. So she decided to be a cheetah, the fastest, fiercest land animal on earth. Her stomach grumbled. The lunch bell rang. And she was off. Oh, she got him. Oh no. During her rather long trip to the principal's office, Edie tried to explain the slow moving characteristics of a sloth, but Miss Weenie wasn't listening. Edie figured if he, she just sat still enough, the principal probably wouldn't see her. Edie? 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 Edie! Chameleon was definitely the right choice. For the ride home, Edie considered a porcupine or a hissing cockroach. Eventually, she decided to be an armadillo. But inside, she felt like a naked mole rat. At dinner, Edie was lost in thought. Edie, would you like to use your fork? Her mom asked. No, thank you, mother. This is how butterflies taste their food. She's got her fingers in her spaghetti. 
When it was time for bed, Edie found that she had, unfortunately, become a worm. Edie, ease come Archer teeth. I can't. I don't have teeth. Or hands, even. Honey, come pick out your clothes for school tomorrow, Edie's mom called from the other room. Worms don't go to school, Edie yelled back. But her mom didn't hear her because people can't hear worms. The floor was uncomfortable, so Edie found her feet and pulled herself up to the mirror. She hoped to see something new, but she only saw Edie, Edie, who had to go to school tomorrow. Edie sat on her bed and held her knees as tears filled her eyes. Mom, she said, I don't think I want to go to school tomorrow. Just saying the words made the tears jump out. Her mom stroked her arm and let her cry. Did you know, her mom finally said, reaching out to collect a tear, that humans are the only creatures on earth that cry tears when they're sad, and no one really knows why. Edie looked up and wiped her eyes. I think I do. It's just like when the sky cries when it's sad, she said. I learned about it in school, Edie went on. The clouds get dark and fill up with tears and then when the clouds can't hold anymore, the tears fall all the way down to the ground where they help make flowers grow and make streams for animals to drink out of and take baths in. Edie's mom smiled. So does the sky feel better after it cries? Oh yeah, Edie said. The clouds get all fluffy again and the sun comes out. You feeling a little fluffier? Her mom asked, pulling her in for a hug. Yeah, I guess, like a fluffy baby owl. Owls are nocturnal, you know, so I'm going to stay up all night, night, Edie. Pony or piggy, her mom asked the next morning. Piggy, please, mother, Edie replied. No, wait, pony. You sure, her mom asked. Pony and Piggy, and Anteater, Frog, Lemur, Lion, Hedgehog, and Flying Squirrel. Okay, but no cheetahs today. Her mom kissed the top of her head. Better yet, how about you just go as my favorite little girl, Edie? Edie thought for a moment. Yeah, okay. I guess being Edie is pretty good, too. The end. Thank you all so much for reading with me today, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.